Honors for Lori Paestawa, the first Native American woman to ever die in combat. 18 years ago today, Paestawa was killed in Iraq. A member of the Hopi tribe and the 507th Maintenance Company, Specialist Paestawa embodies the values of today's Army. <laughs> She was just a caring woman, protecting and providing for us. I think her purpose in life was to bring people together in unity. Lori was born on December 14, 1979, and she was such a beautiful baby. As a youngster, she was always good to people. She was beautiful and she was very bright and she got a lot of accolades, but she never wanted to be recognized. We have a long line of military family. My dad and his brother served in the army in World War II. My uncle Joe was killed in Okinawa. My husband served in Vietnam. Of course, Lori went in the army and then Iraq. My fellow citizens, coalition forces are in the early stages of military operations. Lori was 23. All the other ladies were like 18, 19. She felt like she was the mother. <laughs> she was the matriarch. Come right, come right. In fact, when uh, they were ambushed, she was driving the master sergeant and they were going up and down, up and down, up and down those dirt roads trying to find Jessica. She found Jessica, picked her up, picked a couple other soldiers up on their way to where the front line was. They were hit with a jet-propelled rocket. She was injured. She and Jessica were in the hospital together, so she was considered a prisoner of war. She was killed in Iraq, March 23rd of 2003. She had two children. Carla was three when her mom died, and Brandon was four. My name is Brandon White Rock. I remember being small and someone telling me that my mother had passed away. For many years, that's all I was told as a kid. I learned like what actually had happened, like her sacrifice. And in a way, like it helped heal. In the big picture, her sacrifice opened like an eye opening to so many other people across the country. She helped so many other people. It's not just to honor Lori, it's to honor all those who serve, who have served, all those who have given their all. This is what the run is about. It's about women who have given their lives for the freedoms that we take for granted.